What's the answer to the question? Who are we? Why are we here? What happens when we die? Where do we go? Are ghosts real? Are there other worlds, physical, spiritual? These are just some of the questions we'll try to answer. And all we ask is you keep an open mind. Hi there guys, my name is Taff and uh, this is my good buddy John and we're going to be talking about uh, witching or dowsing or divining uh, using rods and we're going to go down to the beach and uh, look for some treasures, right? Right. And uh, this is going to be uh, your intro to like using subtle energy and uh, it's, it's a great way to get into using your body energies and stuff many ways of doing that but uh, for today we're going to do the old dowsing with, with uh, rods okay but i think the the important thing is it's exciting it's fun and it's teaching us to connect with our higher inner voice that is oftentimes drowned out by our ego voice and this is a wonderful training and if you can find yourself getting into a state of being here now present and just allowing it to happen. You can ask any question and the universe will answer. The universe knows the answer to every question and you can even ask specific uh, spirit guides and people like that to direct you as well but you innately have the ability to do this. There's no one who can't do this. The secret is to get out of the way. And that is the hardest part. You're in the States, they call it witching, and that's an old term that they used um, because back in the day, in the pagan days, the old days in Europe, Britain, the uh, people were um, hounded and hunted by the church because to them this was a satanic I thing, shouldn't be doing witchcraft. It's nothing to do with witchcraft. And uh, actually, Einstein, I always come back to Einstein, he's my go-to guy um, he said that everything without exception is energy okay and when we talk about energy reference to what we do it's subtle energy that's in us around us through us it's in uh, it's in the air it, it's everything everything is energy and because of that we tune ourselves into the vibrations and the frequencies of, of different things uh, of each other and when we douse or, or which we are actually allowing this power to come down and uh, give us results that we're looking for. Like John said, we can look for anything. Um, and again, it's a skill, okay? The more we do it, the better you get at it. And that's the idea of us coming down to the beach and finding right. treasures. And it's, it's good to prepare yourself ahead of time a little bit, <clears throat> get yourself centered. Um, if, if you have things on your mind you might do some breathing exercises definitely hydrate yourself yeah. so that the energy can flow more effectively it's, it's, you know it's it might important. help to think of it as energy and information yeah because the, the information is what's being carried by the energy right. so it's obviously a part of it right and that's what we're that's what we're asking right. to identify with is this what we're looking for in the hole Oh, that's not it. Is it still something in the hole? Is it still inside that hole that we're looking for? It's going to be pretty awesome, John. We want to ask a positive question or, or a positive statement. My name is Taff. 
and it crosses okay to acknowledge that so because it's crossed I know that's a positive answer if I say my name is Elvis Presley look at that you know and I'm not moving it it's going on its own all right because the, the energy uh, traveling through us knows all and that's a fact where you hold these things um, just loosely in your hands okay some people use little plastic cups on them but you don't need to just put them like this my name is Taff whoop see that and now if I need to find um, where I'd like to start my search you can start anywhere but you can ask point me in the right direction to find this is my intention jewelry or lost coins on this beach and as I move around it'll cross when I reach a point there so that tells me I need to go this direction okay it's that simple next thing I would ask it is how far you can use uh, feet paces inches whatever you want so how far is it to that um, object I'm looking for 10 20 30 and I'm doing this in feet in feet 10 20 30 40 50 60 70 75 80 cross right there yeah 80 feet okay in that direction and I think this is what we had earlier on right yeah trees and uh, so we know it's that direction 80 feet and then when we get uh, out 80 feet When I get across the top of the location, what will happen is the rods will, will cross. That tells me X marks the spot. Put my little marker down, and then the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to ask how deep it is. And I would do that in inches because it can be 10, 20, 30, 40, whatever. Or five, one inch, two, three, four, five, whatever you comfortable using, and it will tell you the depth of the sap. You go digging it and when I first did it the very very first time here I found a I was blown away because I found a, a silver and diamond earring you don't actually have to say it out loud that we're just saying it out for demonstration you can actually just think, think it, it. Yeah. and you can think your way through it uh, and I think it's a good idea to do that because sometimes it's harder to just think without using words than it is you know, but if you're really connected, you should be able to do that. Yeah. You know, and I'm sure you get better as as you go. You know, found a, my first staple. <laughs> but uh, have fun with it. Yeah, though. have fun with it, and, and we'll be doing some more videos, and uh, we'll be using different techniques, not just dowsing, but you know, other uh, other modalities as well that we are familiar with. We'll be showing you things over that. Kinesiology. Kinesiology and stuff like that. Anyway, thank you. Have fun and catch you again. Is it still in the hole? Yeah, it's still in the hole. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's one of those mysteries. That's yeah, I don't know what it is. But everybody <laughs> found something. You know, I mean, I found that big staple. You found a quarter. Found a quarter. Yeah. quarter. You found that. Um, Necklace. Necklace. But it does, you know, it does work, right? So. It does work. Oh, yeah, it's Absolutely. lots of fun. We're coming back. Yeah. It's a good day out on the beach. I'm going to put something down of monetary value and I'll plant it and, and we'll douse it. Whoever finds it keeps it. Everybody has a different perception of the world and, you know, and what we believe and what we don't believe. But it's only when we connect with our higher self that we are able to make the right decisions because it has to be like in a holy instant, here now. You're not being influenced by the ego at all. And that's what we're doing here. But once you get in a habit of doing it, and working that way, you know, you, you're changing your life, it's not a problem. But uh, well done everybody. I mean, we all, had a, we yeah, all found something, you know. It was fun. It was, yeah. really was, yeah, it was fun.
All right, we're here with John, and John, uh, you're the owner of the store. The yep. store is called? Evolve. And what made you come up with the name Evolve? I uh, came through a meditation. Uh, it was uh, motivation to open up a discovery for spirituality. Okay, and today, of course, we did something that, uh, well, we discovered Linda Alice Dewey, of course, and, and some more spirits. Now, what is this something that you arranged or something Linda arranged? I mean, you're both in Glen uh, Arbor, so. Yeah, we both arranged it. And we have these workshops mainly in the fall uh, and early spring. Our busy season is during uh, June, July, and August. So we don't have the luxury to be able to open up the shop for having these workshops. But, now, today, uh, of course, a very successful workshop, and we went out to the graveyard, and what did you think when you went out there? It was awesome. It was wonderful. I loved it. Uh, I always get a, I personally get a feeling of warmth when I go there, be, mainly because I know that, well, first of all, I know that I'm invited to do the work of helping those cross over that are willing and wanting to. I've done this work. I do most of it during my dream state, uh, but uh, it's 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 pretty exciting. Yeah. Um, I noticed over there uh, when we were in the graveyard, um, one of the I think it was a, one of the psychics was there, or maybe it was one of the spiritualists. I'm not sure. She said that she felt. And she was pointing at you because you were the one with the red vest on because of the hunters out there. But um, the rest of us were all living dangerously. I was wearing antlers. But <laughs> <laughs> we went out there, and she said something about she she your, her grandmother was talk, telling you something. Do you know what she was saying at all? Well, I, I didn't actually feel it at the time. Um, other than I have several grandmothers that... Uh, that are always watching over me. Uh, I believe the one that she was sensing was uh, my grandmother Harriet, uh, who had helped me through some health issues and uh, other issues as growing up as a child through through the family. That uh, so this she a, was a recent grandmother, not a great great, or no, just a recent grandmother. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, and it, it was, uh, no. I would not be surprised at all. No, she wasn't, of course, obviously then she wasn't buried at that cemetery. No, no. no. She just like hang out there? Or? Well, probably hangs around me. Oh, okay. Which is close to your store, your shop. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh -huh. Now, as far as uh, Linda, uh, are you going to have uh, this type of thing more often? Are you going to have more... Um, once the word gets out about her book more and everything gets out more are you, and there's people coming in saying, hey, Linda, I want to go down to your graveyard where you checked out Aaron and check it out for myself. Are you going to be having something like this on a current basis or a yearly basis? Or I would say at least quarterly. Quarterly. I okay. mean, uh, Linda's really busy right now. She's doing a great job with promoting her book. Uh, Whenever we get the opportunity to get together like this, uh, it's it's we do it. Now, do have you sold a lot of her books in this store? Oh yes, it's, oh it's, yes. Now, has all Glen Arbor too. read Linda's book? You think? Uh, the ones that have a little more I, blinded, or I would say all of Glen Arbor knows of her book. Okay, there you whether go. they would read it or not, I'm not all that sure. But uh, I've sold a few to. A lot of the locals, but uh, with Linda's work and her work and her promotions, um, we've sold a lot of books, mostly to people that are what we call downstate, uh, lower Detroit area, around that area, okay. and Grand Rapids, but, uh, and Just there, so there's all the tourists that come here, right? Okay. And uh, now, do you do, do you have any do you have anything? From the uh, people that are in this area, are there any people that are kind of skeptical and say anything about your store or say anything negative when they come in? Or no, no, they just avoid it. 
Okay. <laughs> they, Which is just as easy. Yeah. Well, that's, that's good. And I, I don't have any problem with that. And actually, uh, things have been a little easier than what I what I had anticipated when we first okay. actually moved the store here. We have a lot of services here. We have some wonderful, wonderful energy workers. Uh, a lot of people are not in tune with energy work yet, but it's coming. I know it's growing. We have some fabulous energy workers that have spent 15, 20 years in their efforts to doing this. We have some gifted psychics that come in that uh, mostly channel. Uh, they channel the higher self and as well as guides that are around you. We carry a lot of books. We try to keep very current. You'll see that a lot of our books titles are geared more towards our interest uh, which keeps us away from the big box stores. Uh, very gifted people that have come through uh, that we carry their books. Edna Frankel, uh, Fred Sterling, uh, they have come and done workshops here. Uh, Linda Dewey, as far as some of the some of the, the you have musical CDs here too, uh, along with uh, uh, candles and music, and we have gift lines of fairies, angels, strong on angels, and uh, shirts, which are really really nice. Uh, mm -hmm. In fact, my wife Sherry designs a lot of our own our best sellers actually, really, and we produce them ourselves. So okay. Yeah, we can do that on on demand. And 